march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods are famous. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> Garrick, did you find Roderick? The Freys. They... they slaughtered him, my lord. If we run, they'll hunt us down like dogs. If we stay, they'll slaughter us like the others. Iron Wrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. For the phrase, you have to go. Your welcome. To the fucking torch. You must go. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him that the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those forests. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say that at the beginning. Oh, I see. Lord. Fresh. Kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead a little. I don't know if it's the same people who do it. This is like the first time I've ever played a game like this, but it looks a lot. It looks fairly similar, but it also looks. Oh. It looks really cartoony, but at the same time, you can fucking dig it.
That's father's car. It's okay, your dad's probably like drunk or something. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Hence it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I said move on. I'm going to kill you. God, Is that fucking so? knock the living shit out of You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the fucking pigs. Have you. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. I'll fucking kick your teeth in. Fuck you. No! Give me the fucking sword, you dick. Finish this fucking. Feel your shit. Mercy, please. Fucking cut his head off. No. I, I have a family. I don't no care. I dig your shit. I have no quarrel with you. No, please. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. survived your, your sister she hid oh. I tried to stop them oh no fucking bastards I'm sorry, I get annoyed when like shit like this happens. I'll kill the men who did this. Fucking damn right you will. <laughs> I just want to get to Dinklage. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? 
My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. Mm. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whoa, White Hills just no need to be fucking us. sassy. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh no, please not. Oh, don't have to. Oh, Jesus <sighs> Christ. That is grim. Oh no! I don't want to see that! Oh! That is gross! Days, I fear. To lose the lord oh, of the house and the oh, eldest oh, son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Oh, that is disgusting. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them! And attack our spread. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important, then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. I can't. I'm still got a sore leg. Don't stop now. It's Look better to let the blood circulate. Uh, that's gross. Back to there as well. The Ironwood Grove. Zell. Let's go with here. An Ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Mm. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... 
Lady Forrester. No. Oh. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royder. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Oh, well. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our Lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the Lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, that'll... You can have...
have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. You need to tell them, son. Come on. Jesus Christ. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. What? I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're heading off to the wall. Which will be pretty interesting. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Aww. I'm actually surprised with how good this is. I mean, I thought it was going to be good, but I didn't expect it to be as good as this. But it is actually amazing. Jared, wait! Aww. Be safe. Mm. That's so cute. too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself i don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him ethan's fine he's just forgotten this is a game you found me well done ryan don't worry it's just a game ryan a stupid game i don't like it he was worried you were gone i thought we'd never find you again no i'm right here and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. 
fine. She's perfectly safe, I promise you. Edel won't dare to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Um, he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Yeah. Like, like a man. You should. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> we had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. He never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. We'll have to have both, I'm afraid. <laughs> but since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? No, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's gonna Ethan, hate you. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. Yeah. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. 